Hey, hey, hey. It snowed. Sure did. I know R Peak and Chevaholic and Bridge Chev Truck and numerous others are just gonna laugh, but look at that ice. Mm. This is a big deal around here. Well, we got a little accumulation. Sort of looks like a northern truck, don't it? That's the sound of it melting already. All right. You know, in the last video, some folks pointed out that my steering U joints are not in phase, which means this yoke is not in the same line as that one. And I did some reading online. And most folks say you're supposed to have them in phase. Some people say it doesn't really matter since that shaft turns so slowly. I had an idea maybe this double U joint right here would cancel out the effect. And I think that may be the case because I've jacked up the front end so the wheels are off the ground. And can spin the steering wheel, it's kind of hard to do it seamlessly, but I can't detect any bumps in the motion. And if anybody's turned the steering wheel on a power steering unit, it doesn't steer real easy anyway. So, I think it's okay, but I, don't know. I might fix it anyway, just so it don't bug me. Well, it was 38 in here, but I got it up to 55. <coughs> well, trip break my nose or something. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the steering column back out and cut that right there and put these U-joints in phase just because that's going to bug me and might as well do it now. Alright, I've done it. I removed the steering column and everything and then cut just behind the weld on the shaft. Joint. Now I'm going to grind that weld down and uh, I overcut just slightly right there on the shaft. I think that's going to be okay. I'm just going to leave that U joint out about like so. I've got the room to do that and then weld it up real good and I think it'll be just fine. This time I'm going to remember to make sure it's in the phase. Alright, now what I've done is drew a straight line right up the shaft to that yoke and following Mr. 63 Impala's uh, advice I've laid the level on it but I can't seem to get the darn thing level I don't know what's going on here hmm alright all joking aside I've got it in phase now so I'm going to weld that up and I uh, don't want to get this too hot so I'll probably weld a little pass and then cool this off real good with the air hose and then continue. And then you always want to make sure you got your welding clamp close to where you're welding because you do not want to ground it say here somewhere and the ground have to pass through all these needle bearings and bearings and so forth. Wouldn't be good for them. All right, it's all welded back up. It's in phase this time. Let's see if it made any difference. And that's what it looks like on the afternoon after a snow. Anyway, enough of that. Let's see if this thing feels any better steering. I've got the uh, Steering shaft rigged up. Somebody mentioned it would it hit the manifold. It's not hitting, but it's pretty close. 
Let's see what happens here. I don't know if it feels any different at all. But I feel better about it anyway. I don't know, it might feel just a little bit different. All right, round two of the steering column is done this time, I think. All right, y'all, check it over and make sure I hadn't missed nothing. All right, I got that done. I think what I'm going to do now is bolt that fender back on there. So I have everything lined up once again, and maybe I'll fool with the running board mounts. I know I'm going to have to modify the running boards a little bit to get them to fit up against that frame. So maybe I'll dive into that. I got a little time left. So I'm messing with the uh, running board brackets here. Oop, you can see there I got a little enthusiastic with the torch, didn't I? Anyway, it looks like it takes some special bolts here to hold them running boards on. It's got a square head there like a carriage bolt, except that's much larger than a 5 16 carriage bolt would be. So I guess I'll have to investigate that. Two of the bolts popped through the hole. And attach there. And then two, I just had to use a big washer. But this is all just temporary anyhow. Let me stick it up there and see how it looks you know I like some Leonard Skinner but of course we can't play that here because that would be against the rules Here's that one lonely flathead all right a few observations I just got one bolt in it there propped up with a jack stand in the back this isn't going to work right here. It's too far away from the body. Wish I had that other frame to look at. But I think what I got to do is trim about that much off the back of this. And who's there? And I guess he ain't gonna say who's there. We've got a little MacGyverin to do right there as well. But we can handle it as soon as I get in the mood. I don't know if I'm in the mood. Are you in the mood? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You have fun in the snow? Well, yeah. Well, it's not exactly snow. No, it's more like ice. Yeah. Alright, I crawled under there and did a little looking. The frame where that mount goes back is one inch and a half wider than the frame where that mount goes back to the frame. This mount is touching the frame like it would mount except that, you know, it's an inch and a half, too much gap right there. What I'm not sure about is what the original frame did there. So I think I'm going to check that out and measure it up before I go much further here. I'm not exactly sure how these running boards were supposed to meet up with a cab. Or the door. I'm not sure. But this one is a good two inches away from the frame. So I'm a little bit unsure about that. So I'm going to measure the original frame, see what it looked like, and uh, that'll give me some clues and I'll figure out what I'm doing here. Kind of itching to hang a door too, but that's all I'm doing today. I'm going to go in and relax, maybe. Oh yeah, I found this a while back in the 50 Oldsmobile under the seat. 
It's a can't miss four way rat trap. Patent number so and so and such and such. Made in USA. Marengo, Illinois. I might need to put that into service on a car that's not located here. But anyway, you ever notice the uh, new mouse traps are made in China? Don't work worth a, a hoop.